Okay, I'm making this video to replace the acceleration lab that seems not to be working for some of you. All right, let's see how it works. All right, I'll go down to lesson 22.21, click on the link to the University of Department of Oregon, go to mechanics, do horizontal block, choose a samplet. It brings me to three positions I can change. The initial position, the initial velocity, or initial acceleration. All right, the lab asks you to do four different trials by changing those variables. So let's start with a simple thing. We'll leave the position at zero. Let's give it an initial velocity of five and an acceleration of zero. Run. All right, we see the graph of position versus time and velocity versus time. We should notice that this graph is linear with a slope. And this is linear with a zero slope. All right. We can examine any point along here and we should see its velocity is pretty much constant through the whole time. All right, let's change the thing. Let's make it at change only one variable. Let's start at five. Let's run. All right, we see the same pattern. All right, the slope is actually the same. The change in velocity is zero, so we see that. Let's give it an initial position of zero, and this time let's give it an acceleration of four. Kind of predict what will happen. Obviously, we won't see this line here in the same shape, and this line should change because we're not changing our position at a constant rate. Running. All right, look here, we got a nice more or less straight line, but this line is now curved. Let me give it an acceleration. Let's just try for sake of argument of a negative six, and let's make this 50. Let's see what happens if we do that. Wow, something strange happened, but not if we look at it realistically. We had an acceleration to the left with initial velocity to the right. That acceleration to the left remained constant. The acceleration, the acceleration to the left remained constant. The velocity to the right decreased, but as the acceleration maintained to the left, that then created a velocity to the left, and we can see that in this graph. All right, we can also see that affecting this graph. Let's try something else. Let's, hey, let's just play around with that. We don't know how well this will graph, but let's make this acceleration positive 10 and initial velocity negative, indicating to the left. And let's see what happens when we run that. All right, that was a bad choice because I don't think we can, we will start picking up until it reaches the zero position. In which case, when it reaches the zero, it will now be accelerating to the right and it will have a velocity to the right. All right, let's just try one more variation. Let's give it an initial velocity of five, acceleration of five, initial position of 10. Could we predict where everything is going to start and what's it going to look like? Take a few seconds to predict that and then let's take a look. Okay, let's close up this video. We should have enough to now to do the lab. You can rerun the video, stop it, do whatever you want. There should be enough information there.